Hey, kid, hey, hey, storyteller doesn't know that we're here. No, no, this is a secret. See, the deal is, is that we know that she's kind of nervous about reading the story. And if she's nervous, imagine how I must feel. I told you it's going to be okay. Okay, if you say so. So, look at what the book says. It says, died stories in wood. Do you know what that means? Not exactly. It means we do not know what is going to happen in this book. We have no idea how long it will take to read. We have no idea where we are going to go with this. Oh, she's coming. Act natural. Act natural. Okay. Hey, you two. Oh, hey, storyteller. What are you guys doing here so early? Oh, oh, well, Green Bear and I were just hanging out, getting ready for kid time story time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know us. We're always right on time for stuff. Yeah, yeah, nothing to see here. No, no, Joe, don't be nervous. Why, why would I be nervous, D Doug? Huh. I don't know why they thought I'd... Hmm. Anyway... Welcome to Get Time Story Time. Uh, if the puppets did not already say hello to you, what should Danny do? Okay, I have no idea what's going to happen here because this is all about the power to choose. It's gonna be okay. Okay, Doug, are you, are you nervous, Doug? No, no. You seem like you're nervous. Well, I really don't know what's gonna happen, but that's okay, we're in it together, right? And we're gonna find out what's gonna happen with this book and all its multiple endings. And we know we're gonna have a Danny and a mommy and an Oreo, not the kind you eat. And we have a daddy, okay? So those are our characters I see. My name is, well, the storyteller. And I have the power to choose. And well, you can insert your name right there, shall we? Let's see here. Oh. A personalized message from the authors themselves to Eileen. That is my other name besides Storyteller. Your choices shape your destiny. Make them count. Oh, oh, I feel the pressure. It's okay. It's okay. You totally got this. Thank you, Green Bear, because this whole book is about making choices. And right here, oh, there's a whole thing. Okay, dear reader, there are nine different stories in this book. When you reach an ending, you can start over and make different choices to see how my day changes. The guide below will help you understand the symbol. So here, the arrow means turn to the next page, and then the question mark is turn to the page that your choice says to go to and continue reading from there. This shows where you came from, so only use it if you want to go back and change your last choice, like ooh, uh, like a do-over. Ending number one, you reached one of the nine endings, and then to reach another ending, start at the beginning and make different choices. Try to reach all nine. Okay, okay, Danny. We're gonna try to reach one ending today and see what happens. You know what? I'm gonna bookmark this in case I need to remember what to do. You can do that always. Bookmark something in case you think you need to refer to it later. All right. Hi, my name is Danny. My favorite things in the whole world are soccer, superheroes, and ninjas. I also love skateboards, but I don't have one yet. I also love ninjas and, and superheroes, and I also don't have a skateboard. Okay. You may be wondering why I'm wearing a cape, so I'll let you in on my secret. I'm a superhero in training. Oh, me too, me too. Uh, that means I have some superpowers, but I'm still working on the rest. You know what, Danny? Same here. I'm still working on developing my superpowers. By the way, check out this cool room. We've got the bed here, and then there's like a bunk bed up above, and then he's got the basketball thing, but then you, just sli you can slide out of bed like Oreo the dog here is doing, and you can climb up the stairs or use them to dry your socks. And, oh, is that? Is that a Doug the Dinosaur toy? <gasps> it kind of looks like it does. Okay, oh, look at that. We had a little green arrow, so that tells us to go. Okay, Danny. For example, I jump super high. I run super fast. I have super muscles. And even though I can't fly just yet, I'm still working on it. All right, so we're taking a lot of leaps. Oh, oh, somebody might. Oh, did you break your leg trying to take a leap or is that just toilet paper? Okay, I'm gonna assume it's just toilet paper. Daddy says that my most important superpower of all is my power to choose. 
that's a good power. With this power, I can change my day by changing my choices. He even gives me the coolest new cape so that I won't forget. Ah, oh, you know what? You know what? Confession, I have that cape. I'm so excited to have it. Today is a special day because you'll be making choices for me. When you get to the end of the day, you can start over and make different choices. Then we'll see if the power to choose really does change my day. Ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Adventure awaits. Mmm. Do I smell pancakes? I love pancakes. I zoom downstairs. Chocolate chip pancakes, I yell. But then I see my brother, Charlie, eating from our ninjutsu ninja plate. That plate's my favorite. I want the ninja plate, I say. I know you love that plate, Mommy says, but Charlie's already eating from it. She put two pancakes in front of me, but they're on an alphabet plate. I already know my alphabet. Oh, I get it. So you think it's a baby plate and you want your ninja plate since you're a ninja in training. What should Danny do? Eat the pancakes on the alphabet plate or yell until he gets the ninja plate? Well, I know what I would do, so... So, yell? You know me really well, storyteller. Oh, I do. I know you. All right, we're going to do the green bear option. We're going to yell until we get the ninja plate. Even though I tell not to yell, but let's see what happens. Okay, so I have to go to page 16. All right, I'm going to page 16. I yell, I stomp, I scream, no fair, I want the ninja plate, I say. It isn't helping. I push the alphabet plate away from me. My super muscles are so strong that the plate zooms into the pitcher of orange juice. Oops, it spills everywhere. Orange juice on the table, orange juice on the floor, orange juice on my pancakes. Ew, yuck. Mommy hands me a towel. Great. Now my pancakes are ruined and I have to clean up the mess. Well, Oreo is going to help, but oof. Bad choice, bad choice. I had a feeling, but I wanted to see just in case it turned out okay. Well, it's okay if you don't mind orange juice pancakes. Wiping up the juice takes forever, and now I'm stuck with cereal. Oh, I guess he didn't have his orange juice pancakes. Cereal doesn't charge my super muscles like pancakes do. I finish eating and see Charlie playing with our new race car set. I wanted to race the cars. Oh boy, oh boy. The cross arms, a frowny face. This is not going well again. Charlie licks his fingers loudly with a smirk on his face. I think he's making fun of me for not getting pancakes. Well, it might be. What should Danny do? Knock the race car set down or find a way to play with Charlie? What do you think? Oh, 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 can I now make a suggestion? Yes, what do you think? Well, well, since Green Bear got to choose before, I would like to choose now and I would like him to find a way to play with Charlie because that's his brother and they should get along and, and be happy and peaceful. Is that okay? Yes, I will try that choice. Yay! All right. Let's see. Find a way to play with Charlie. Go to page 30. All right. I'm bothered by Charlie's teasing, but I let it go. Let it go. Because it's not a big deal. After all, I was the one who ruined my pancakes. You're lucky you got pancakes, I say. Do you want to build a quadruple loop crash track together? Charlie thinks then says, yeah. Together we build the coolest crash track ever. One, two, three. We both let go of our race cars at the same time. Smash, crash. The cars crash in midair. We test them all. The blue lightning bolt and the red rocket racer are the fastest right there. We crash them like a hundred times. Of course, why not 200 while you're at it? See, look at that, look at that swirl. That's what happens when you work together. Are you happy with your choice? I loved it. I loved it. See, they're having fun and playing. And see, the whole pancake ugliness is now behind us. I am happy. All right. Me too. I don't like all that pancake ugliness. All right. Green arrow. Green means go. Mommy comes into the living room and tells us to get dressed because we're going to the park. Score! I love the park. But when Charlie comes back, I see that he has brand new shoes. How'd you get those? I ask. Mom got them for me because my old ones had a hole. He answers, no fear, I want new shoes too. 
What should Danny do? Yell at his mom for not buying him new shoes? Or tell Charlie how cool his new shoes are? Well, I know what I would do. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I always demand honesty. Okay, so I know that like part of me would really wanna yell because I want stuff. Uh-huh. But I know that yelling at mom is wrong and it's bad and yelling at people is just generally bad and I should not do it. Uh-huh. So, even though I really wanna yell, I don't want new shoes. Uh-huh. I'm gonna just tell Charlie how cool his new shoes are. Okay, I know that was a hard decision, but. Let's give it a whirl. I, I feel like you made the right choice, Green Bear. Okay. All right, finding my way to page 68 over here. Ooh, almost at the back. I'm a little jealous, but I understand that Charlie needed new shoes more than I did. Your new shoes are awesome, I tell him. That's really sweet of you, Danny, Mommy says. She reminds us to clean up the race car set so that we can go to the park. Oh, okay, so we're not... We're not done, even though we went back. This is a crazy book. Page 20. Okay, so now we need to clean up the race car set so we can go to the park. So back to page 20. Ooh, this is crazy. I've never had a book like this. So we quickly clean up, then go to the park. I use my super speed to zoom around. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Then I hear my favorite music in the world. I know exactly where it's coming from. You know what it is, don't you? Ding, 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 ding. Can we please, please, please have some ice cream, Mommy? I beg. Sure, she says. Score. I choose my favorite, an ice cream sandwich. Ooh, that's a good classic choice. Charlie chooses a rainbow snow cone. I'm not so much into those. I tell him to eat quickly so we can go play soccer. He pushes his cone up to take a bite, but it slips out and falls in the mud. Ew. Charlie starts to cry. What should Danny do? Eat his ice cream quickly before Charlie can ask for some? Or share some of his ice cream with Charlie? Oh boy, what are we gonna decide here? Okay, 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 my turn, my turn, my turn. Okay, fair is fair. Okay, so I think that he should share his ice cream with Charlie because because they're brothers and sharing is caring. Is that what you tell me? It's exactly what I tell you. Sharing is caring. And this is a good time to put that into action. Caring in action, like you tell us. Very nice, Doug the Dinosaur. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I was nervous about this book, but now I feel better. Oh, good, good. I really wasn't sure what to expect myself. Let's see. So we're sharing the ice cream with Charlie. So we got to go to page 44. Here we go. Charlie looks so sad. I take one last bite of my ice cream sandwich and hand him the rest. He stops crying and smiles. Mommy says, I saw what you just did, Danny, and I'm so proud of you. And, and she gives you a big hug, and that makes me feel good. <laughs> as soon as Charlie finishes, we run to play soccer. I'll be goalie first because you gave me some of your ice cream, Charlie says. After a while, the game is tied 9-9. I know I need my superpowers to score the last goal. I run back as far as I can. hi -ya! I unleash a super kick. The ball goes so fast it almost tears through the net. Yes! I win! Green arrow. Green means go. On the ride home, Mommy lets us play superheroes versus ninjas because she's proud of how nicely we played in the park. After dinner and a bath, Mommy comes to tuck me in. Ah, yes. A day of play, food, a delicious soak in the tub. Isn't it nice to see how the day got better as you made better choices? She asks, yes, mommy. She smiles and gives me a kiss. Good night, Danny. She says, I love you. Good night, mommy. I love you too. And oh, that was ending number five. Ooh, I'm so tempted to do one more, but I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. do one more, do one more and make all bad, terrible choices. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, how about, okay, let's try that. Let's make all terrible choices and we'll go from the beginning. Okay, so we know, we know that he loves soccer, superheroes, and ninjas 
and he's working on his superpowers, uh, but he can already jump super high, run super fast, has super muscles, and he's working on the flying part. Uh, and But then his biggest power is the power to choose, good or bad. And now we're going to see what happens when we choose all bad by popular demand. All right. So we're back at the breakfast table and the chocolate chips have been laid out. But wait a minute, we already made the bad choice before and knocked over the orange juice. So let's just make the good choice just this one time. Just this one time. Uh-huh, just this one time to see, you know, what happens when he eats the pancakes on the alphabet plate instead of making a big fuss about the ninja plate and knocking the orange juice into it. So he's going to go to page 26. So see what happens when he's nice just this one time, Green Bear. So let's see. He eats the pancakes on the ninja plate, page 26. But I can get the ninja plate next time, I ask. Mommy smiles and says, of course. The pancakes are delicious. I can feel them charging my superpowers with every bite. After we finish, Mommy tells us to get ready because we're going to the park. Score. I love the park. Do you want to set up a lemonade stand while we're there? Mommy asks. Oh, yes. No way. That's Charlie pouting. I want to play at the park, not work. You can play, Mommy says, but you won't get to share the money if you don't help Danny. That's okay with me. I quickly get dressed and make a big lemonade sign. Ooh, lemonade. I get 10 lemons, two pitchers, and some sugar. I am lucky I have the super muscles to carry it all. I squeeze the lemons, but the last one's really, really hard. I summon my super strength and finally get the juice to come out, but, oh, uh, oops. The juice squirts right into my eye. Oh, no, not lemon juice in the eye. Oh. I know, it's very painful. It stings so much, I start to cry, and then Charlie laughs at me. Okay, what should Danny do? Moment of choices, people. We're choosing right now. Is he going to stomp really hard on Charlie's foot? Or is he going to tell Charlie that laughing at his eyeball-burning situation is not very nice? Well, let's do the bad choice. Stomp really hard on Charlie's foot. Oh, Charlie yells, and he stomps back on my foot and tries to grab me. Meanie, I yell. Rah! Charlie roars. I push him off of me, but my super muscles are too strong. He bumps into the lemonade, and it spills everywhere. Oh, man. Now we can't have a lemonade stand. Mommy comes in and looks at the mess. He started it, and he's the one who knocked it over, I say. He pushed me, Charlie yells. Mommy, well, she frowns. You boys are going to have to clean up this mess together, or we won't even be going to the park. So, moment of choosing again. What should Danny do? Clean up the lemonade or refuse to clean up the lemonade? Are you sure you want me to make the wrong choice? <laughs> I'm nervous, but... Let's go with it! Okay, I'm nervous too now. Refuse to clean up the lemonade. Wow, we're going to have a problem with Danny here. Ooh, let's see here. Mommy isn't happy with how I behave, so now I'm stuck at home all day. After lunch, I have to clean up my room. Cleaning my room is no fun when I know I could have been at the park instead. Later, my, my tummy begins to rumble like a bulldozer. <laughs> That means I'm hungry. If I ask mommy for a snack, she'll probably give me something healthy. But I think my superpowers need chocolate to recharge. Okay, that's not true, Danny. Chocolate does not recharge superpowers. Healthy stuff does, but I can see that he is in a mood. Mommy thinks I can't reach the top of the pantry where she heaps the candy, but she doesn't know that I can climb like a super spider. What should Danny do? Oh, Ask mommy for a snack or sneak some chocolate from the pantry. No, no, don't sneak the chocolate from the pantry. No, you're going to sneak the chocolate from the pantry, aren't you? 
Well, I did say that we were gonna see what happens when you make the bad choices, but you know what? You know what? We've made a lot of bad choices. So why don't we try one of the good choices? Good choice, good choice. Wait, I wanna make the bad choice. But you know that the bad choice is what? Bad. What are you going to do? Oh, I am so torn. I did promise I would make the bad choices for Green Bear. Yes! But then Doug did make a good point. You have already made a lot of bad choices. I know, I know, but aren't you curious to see what happens? No, I am nervous. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm so torn. She doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down with you. This is going to get interesting. All right. I don't think you should sneak chocolate from the pantry. So I'm going to, and I think he's made a lot of bad choices. And I think it's too many bad choices to make all at once because we all make some good choices and then occasionally some bad choices. So let's make a good choice now because we've made a lot of bad ones. Let's ask mommy for a snack. Yes, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. We'll ask mommy for a snack and see what she gives us. Mommy makes me ants on a log, but not with real ants. It's yummy and healthy, and it charges my superpower super fast. Uh-huh, that's what healthy snacks do. I let Oreo lick my sticky peanut butter fingers, and like magic, bling, they're all clean. After I'm done, Mommy gets a bath ready, just how a superhero likes it. Not too hot, not too cold, and filled to the top with bubbles. I jump right in. Oh, look, looks like he has a Doug the Dinosaur toy and an Octavius the Octopus. Oh, we even have Tibby Tiburon the shark in there. How do you think your day was, Danny? Mommy asks. I think about the good things and the bad things that happened, and I realize that most of it was because of the choices I made. Tomorrow, I'll try using my power to choose to make it a better day. Ah, the end. So he learned that he could have made some better choices. So we got through two, two versions of the story, which I only thought we'd only get to one. I think you did a very good job, even though everything was very unpredictable. Yeah, yeah. And, and to be honest with you, I think that it was better that you made the better choice at the end because otherwise Nanny was going to be kind of a brat. Yeah, yeah, and nobody likes a brat. I mean, sometimes we make mistakes. Yeah, we make mistakes. I make mistakes quite a bit, actually. But the point is that we're always learning to choose better. Yeah, the power to choose to be a superhero and be good, like, almost all the time. Almost all the time. That's right. Almost all the time we can try to be better. <laughs> well, remember, you have the power to choose. To choose wisely. And be a superhero. And be really kind and smart and share stuff. And just have a temper tantrum just once in a while. Just, just not that often, but just sometimes. Remember, you're not supposed to have temper tantrums. I know, but I'm working on it. Well, we all have our strengths. Yes, we do. And now you know that your strength is the power to choose. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time! Story Time! That was fun. Yeah, it was really edgy there for a minute.